everybody, it's Boo1775 here with my new Let's Play MLB Power Pro 2008 Success Mode. So in this, you start off in double A, try to work your way up to triple A and eventually the majors. And then you can use that guy in like season mode and stuff. So you start off naming your character. And then once you get all this customization stuff done, and you start. First you name him, then you can pick his skin color. Then you choose his dominant hand, so the first one is how he bats, the second one is how he throws. So L is left, R is right, and S is switch. So we're gonna make him a righty. And we're gonna make him a pitcher, you can choose all these positions. SP is starting pitcher, RP is relief pitcher, and CL is closer. So we're gonna make a starter. You can pick all these. It's overhand, make him throw a sidearm. And submarine is kind of funny, I think, because it's like underhand. We're gonna go overhand, and you can use all these unique major league ones. Or you can just use the game, some the game created. So what we're gonna do. This one, why not? Oh yeah, then you can pick manual or auto. Auto, the game automatically chooses like how to upgrade your points in manual. You do it, so we're gonna go manual. Then we're gonna make him play for the Brewers once he gets fast, because that's my favorite team. So this, it says, I didn't start playing baseball for any specific reason. I was just thinking, man, I've gotta be that kid. And that kid is Jonathan. But after I began practicing, it hit me one day that I could really make a career of it. Moving from single A to double A, it gets much harder to climb even higher, but nothing's holding me back. I'm going to keep going for it till the very end. Nothing's going to stop me from becoming a major leaguer. So that kind of introduces you to the story. So, since I've beat this before, I'm going to set this shortcut. And so, we joined the gold Green Apples in the double A league. So we go to practice, our guy's stats are on the bottom, 78 top speed, and on the right, that's where breaking pitches go, but we don't know any breaking pitches, so we're going to try to learn one. So that's practice, choose breaking ball, fielding, accuracy, top speed, weight. So if you get five of those X cards, that means you guys are injured, and then the more red ones you get that say okay, and the more experience points you get. And then on the bottom it says technique plus 22 or whatever. That's how many points you get. So, you introduce Sitch or GM. So then you go to the boost screen. And you can choose pitches and other stuff that you want to upgrade. So, we're going to learn a slow curveball as our first pitch. And then, okay. And then in the bottom left it says Vitality, and it's flashing because it's empty. So a great place to boost that up is to go to the hot dog stand. Because if you don't have Vitality, your guy has a huge chance of getting injured. So this is Bison, he runs the shop. If you tell him not interested, he'll give you a discount coupon for his new shop. Which you can use. So then, you go to practice. And up in the top right, it says injury rate, so 6%, 5%, 8%. And the higher vitality is, the lower percent that is. So I think we're going to go to the lake with Sitch now. Alright, so this guy's our teammate. He's a ninja. And he wants to teach us his ninja techniques, so we'll try it with him. So the first day, he, you have to pick out what one is the real him. And it speeds up every time that you pick the correct one. If you pick the wrong one, then you're done. So the trick is that the real sitch will always go in front of the fake ones. So that's what I kind of use to help me if I get lost with it. But if you go with this guy long enough, he'll teach you a new pitch that's more effective than others. Which we're going to try to do. With our guy Estrada. See, it's getting hard there. Might have been able to get that one. But anyway, so then you go here. He gives you lots of technique points from Stitch, so try to get our control up. 
then you go to the lookout with Frank, who's another one of your teammates, he's left fielder. Set you feel the pitcher. And I'll ask you if you want to work out. And if you say yes, you say catch, you get strength points and breaking ball points. And there's one that up a little. Not much to do here, so we're gonna go to the shop and use our coupon. And then this is the one thing that I always buy. It's the Prince's Necklace. It's easy to impress scouts, so you get more scouty val, which is what you need to pass the game if you're doing stuff. So now it's our first game. Won't let you play this no matter what, so the computer just automatically simulates it. So our guy's just watching from the bench. Oops. Sorry about that. So, as you could probably see, which I was watching, the score was 1-0, we lost to the Wild Jokers. So our guy's like, we didn't get to do a thing. And that guy's Jonathan, he's like our rival. And that girl is Lucy, she's Jonathan's girlfriend, but our character has a crush on her too. And so we're imagining things and Marvin tells us to get practicing. So now, let's go back to the lake and practice with Sitch. And here, Sitch isn't here, so if you check the tree, that's where he's hiding at. And he just tells you about how to hide and stuff. And he gives you a little bit of point. So this is Lucy, you meet up with Lucy. If you don't say anything, sometimes you'll take her out, yeah, you take her out to eat. Your money decreases by 80 bucks, but you get 50 vitality, and Lucy likes you more, which is what we're going for. And if you go back to the lookout, and if you say, are you treating, you won't have to pay, which we kind of need that now, because our character's poor. See, so you only have $50 down in the corner. So then if you go back to Frank, you'll practice with him again. And we gain good small ball mentality. So this is our catcher, Tom. He wants us to go build a pitching machine with him. So we said, sure. So now we're going to boost our top speed, and that's it, because we're going to play our first game now. So you go to the street, and that's where Frank is, and he takes you out to eat with his special gross ball, which is octopus or something, I don't know. So we got Insomniac, which happens a lot with Frank. That's just where, like, your character doesn't sleep and you lose vitality and motivation. So here Marvin checks the starting lineup. And he sees that we're starters, and Tom isn't happy about that, because he thinks we're just a bunch of rookies. And he doesn't think we deserve to be starters. So we gotta try to prove him wrong. So for pitchers in success mode, the computer will simulate the game until you get a runner on base. And that guy just crushed that pitch. And so the big thing in success mode is you don't want to give up runs and you try to get strikeouts. It's two main things. But the biggest one is don't give up runs because that's like the worst thing you can do. It really decreases your evo. And as you can see your fielders are terrible. We might get out of this. Oh yeah, this guy's named Bacon, and we're playing against the Burgers. And so all the players on that team have, like, burger name theme ingredients, or names, I guess. So yeah, there we got a strikeout. If you want to see how many strikeouts you guys are getting, you just pause the game, and it'll show you up in the top right. So our guy has two so far. Oops. Wasn't paying attention there. So we got out of that inning. And we're still pitching in the fifth. 
with still only two strikeouts. Let's see if we can strike this guy out. Yep. That's three. Wow. <laughs> Don't know why I swung at that. Got out of that in too. Alright, so we ended up in a tie game, zero to zero, as you probably saw. So if it's a tie game, the computer will just simulate a rematch and kinda do random to see who won. So our guy pitched six and two thirds innings, didn't give up a run with three strikeouts. Coach Evel up by six, got up by fourteen, and you get like strength points and technique points and all that stuff. And the rematch was held and we won. So boost our top speed, control. Okay, and that's we're gonna end it for today. So hope you join us again next time for the next episode of Let's of our Let's Play with Michael Miguel Estrada.